Hey guys, this is MTG Degree. My name is Luke. Today's Easter, and this reminds us all of Easter egg hunts in the backyard. But Easter eggs aren't only in your backyard, they are also in the art of our favorite game. This is going to be a look at some of my favorite Easter eggs hidden in Magic the Gathering art. I would like to note before we start that some of these I found on my own, and some of them are from the Wizards Arcana website, and they just have such great content there, so if you guys have never gone, go check it out. The first one is from the current set. So in Cons of Tarkir, we had Dig Through Time, and we see that she's looking at this dragon. And later, we see this dragon. Hey, Silimgar! What's up, buddy? This also brings up the question. If Silimgar was talking to someone a thousand years later when all dragons were dead, did he know that dragons would go extinct? Our next piece of art is from Kiora, the Crashing Wave. Now, many art aficionados might notice that her background reminds us a lot of one of Japan's most famous pieces of artwork, The Great Wave. Good job, Tyler Jacobson. I want to see more of this stuff in our magic art. Our next card is Uktabi Orangutan. In this card, we see some monkey business going on in the background. And then, in the unhinged set, we get Uktabi Kong. And in this one, we see the results of this activity. Our next card is Keeper of Kukis. The flavor text for this says, Wanted. Thick-skinned goblin for guarding old Kukis. Must like fires. Must heal quickly. This job search text is actually referenced in a later set with Thick-skinned goblin. Look, he showed up for the job. Our next cards are the Kamigawa basic lands, actually. So if you take all of these lands and you put them next to each other, they actually make panoramas. That is awesome. Also, imagine if they did this with the full art set. Mind blown. Our next card is Flame Wave. If you look closely, you can see that there's actually a skull in the wave. But if you look even more closely, you can see that there's a bro breaking the wave, man. Surfing it up. The last card features a character that I actually don't know how to pronounce. Anyway, he's on Totally Lost, and you can see him kind of scared amongst the crowd, and he's the cowardly homunculus. He also shows up in another card, though unquestioned authority. Can you spot him? He's right there! How do you guys feel about the list? Anything you would have wanted to see on it? Comment down below on some of the best Easter eggs that you know of in Magic the Gathering. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video.